Okay, hey, this is Kyle at Prehired, just doing a success story interview here. Today we have Drew in LA, the hardest working man on the planet. He uh, recently started a new gig at Zentap. So yeah, we're just talking to him today. Um, so Drew, will you tell us a little bit about your background first? Yeah, uh, definitely. Well, uh, I've been doing sales for about 10 years. Um, I also um, studied at UCLA, had a tech background. And until I found Prehired, I mean, honestly, I was looking at real estate as well as like stockbroking and other like high level professional sales jobs, even like insurance. But I didn't really know software sales was something that you could do and earn a lot of money. So uh, when I found you guys, um, I knew that my skill sets from my tech background as well as from my sales background were just going to come together. And so, yeah, I decided to join Prehired and it's been amazing. That's fantastic, man. Did you, and what made you kind of want to do it through pre-hired? Well, uh, the, the thing I really loved was just, uh, Josh's approach to the, the sales process. I could see that he, he really knew what he was doing. He, he understood that the most fundamental things were going to be the tools and the skills, uh, that were going to set me apart in the industry. And so, and I liked the fact that it was like, insanely fast that you could get a job, uh, going mm -hmm. through the program and the 95% success rate as well. So, uh, those were those were the top things uh, for and reasons why I really chose Prehired. Nice man, yeah, you can't argue with that. No. Um, so, when you found Prehired, I know when I took the program, I had doubts before. Did you were you kind of sketched out before you signed up, or what were you thinking? My girlfriend definitely was. Uh, <laughs> you know how that is. You know, sometimes if if any of these guys are in sales, you know, you call someone up and you got to talk to the wife. You know, just sure. like my girlfriend, we had to sit down and go through that contract together and. Uh, you know, we were, we had some doubts and we, you know, we thought about, you know, could, could we do it on my own? And, uh, could I just go like do all the research on myself and find it? But, um, when I was in that position, man, I really just, uh, I really wanted to go quickly and, and I didn't, I wanted to do it right. So I didn't want to go into it, uh, blindly and spend hundreds of hours researching. And I knew, just knew that, uh, if these guys were building a company and they were, had a 95 success rate of actually getting people into, uh, software sales jobs. I, I just knew it was a no brainer. Um, so yeah, so I took the opportunity. It was great. Nice. And then, yeah, tell us uh, a little bit about the job search process. It wasn't an easy one, man. So, so lay it on us. Tell us about it. Yeah, no, the job search process, um, at first, it, you know, it, it, it kind of seemed like, you know, I was just going to do a bunch of emails, send them out and then bam, people were just going to be hitting me up. They're going to love my copy. And, you know, I was just going to be a shoe in, but uh, you know, it, 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 the reality set in when, you know, I started booking those appointments, you know, I went, got through the first interviews pretty well, but then, uh, when it came to the second interviews, um, even though I prepared really well, man, it, it was, it really was about finding the right fit. I mean, it, it, especially here in Los Angeles, it's super competitive. Uh, so in order to set myself apart, I really had to do other things, uh, other than just pre-hire to kind of, uh, uh, give me that edge, you know, at least in my market. So, you know, I started, you know, writing blog posts about the industry, studying business development to put myself one tier above. And yeah, just essentially um, using my network finally once, yeah, I built a good enough network on LinkedIn through pre-hired as well. And just like contacting them directly and setting up better cadences. So, but the cool part was, is that actually doing all of that just makes me uh, better at my job now. So like going through all those struggles and going through all those rejections just made me more confident as I went along. So that was, it was, it was hard, but it was, it was good. And I feel like a, a fair amount of them kind of just evaporated on you due to no fault of your own. It was like, yeah, we'd love to bring you on, but the company stock just tanked 40%. So yeah. We Cause yeah, yeah. we would have like, so we'd be this close and then it'd be like, Oh yeah. The guy just quit the company and went to work somewhere else. That just happened more than once, I remember. Yeah, there was one tech company that you're, yeah, that you're mentioning where I actually uh, got to the second interview phase and I did the project and they were ready to come in and I was about to pitch the whole team and they were really excited about it and I was really just using the science-based method, which was kind of cool. Like I wasn't really going off script or anything. Um, and then, but yeah, then that, that stock tank and they like, like the position dissolved and they said it wasn't any fault of your own. Like, we'll call you back if we're doing good. But like, you know, honestly it was probably better for the best if the stock was tanking anyway. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, again, just another good learning lesson, something to put on my portfolio. So uh, nothing bad about it at all. All right. on, man. 
Um, and what would you say to anyone who's kind of thinking about pre-hired, but they're on the fence? What would you recommend they do? Uh, I recommend that they, 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 they go for the help, man. I think the biggest thing uh, about pre-hired isn't just like learning a bunch of stuff to do your job. I think the biggest thing about pre-hired was just the mentorship uh, as well as the community that you have. Um, even though I got hired, I'm, I'm still constantly on the Slack app talking with all the pre-hired members, uh, welcoming them to the group. People are adding me every day, asking me if they can work, how it's been working. Um, and then, yeah, as well as people, you know, just offering me different opportunities. So if you know anything about sales or you know anything about life, you know, it's all about opportunities and the more opportunities you can create for yourself, the more successful you can be. So, uh, pre-hired is worth every penny. If you're looking for more opportunities, it's kind of like lead generation for jobs. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, man. Uh, all right, Drew, I'll let you go, man. I really appreciate you being on here with us today and, uh, take it easy.